Hey guys, what's going on? Duff King 56 here, or maybe Duck King 56 here, back to continue with another episode of my Let's Play of Duck Detective Secret Salami. Welcome back! Last time we kind of figured out who hired us. We, fi we finished pretty much all of the suspects here. There's seven of them, as you can see. And uh, we're on to our next case. What has been going on in the kitchen? We have a culprit. Um, but hey, we've done some pretty good deductions so far. Let's do the kitchen. Uh, something is planning a blank blank. F uh, blank blank. <laughs> Alright. I think it's Margaret is planning a surprise party for Halloween. No, no, no. It has to be a surprise birthday party because we know the Halloween party is canceled. So I think it's a surprise birthday party for Sophie. Right? It's, that has to be it. I'm almost positive that that's what it is. Because we know... I'll, I'll show you why, just in case you're catching up to speed or... Had this out in the background, but I will show you. It's so-and-so's birthday. It's Sophie's birthday today. And this is a misnomer, right? The Halloween party's been canceled. So, I think Margaret's baking potentially a cake for none other than Sophie. Let's try it. Let's try it. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> they didn't actually forget her birthday. See, they didn't forget. How beautiful is that, right? So now the culprit. Oy, 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 oy. Okay, so I think Freddy is being framed by so and so because Blank picked up the wrong bag. I don't think it's the wrong lunch. The wrong mug? Mm, because Blank picked up the wrong mug. I mean, it would just be Freddy, right? The salami Bandit picked up the wrong bag. I think that's right, actually. Freddy is being framed by the salami... Or, not the salami Bandit. Mm, actually... Okay, so can I actually get rid of this? Fuck. Um, he has bad eyesight, so it's Freddy. I think Freddy's being framed by the Salami Bandit because Freddy picked up the wrong bag. It was as I thought. Freddy Fredderson was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Salami Bandit! This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for... You Know What? Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Huh? A letter? Ugh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! It's... the Salami Bandit! I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is! I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson! By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? Certainly, we need to investigate further, right? So let's start with this. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says, 
limited edition. I would assume that that's Laura. It's a heart-shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. So probably not Laura. She doesn't seem like the tacky type. Ooh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Well, okay. Well, I guess I have to do it now. <laughs> Sexy aliens want my number by Super Saritas. Captain Brightbeak stared deep into the aliens' eyes. There were twelve of them, and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue, and there were forty-three. All of them wore shiny metal armor, which shined like something shiny made of curved metal. The lead alien stepped forward. Captain Brightbeak could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one which stepped forward. It was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking, from a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. The translation device the captain had invented word into action, translating the words into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute, a mechanical voice whispered into his ear. Can I get your number? Page 252, 621 long uh, pages of a long book, absolutely. <laughs> Adult novel indeed. Okay, so we got some clues about oh. this book. Oh god. What did I just read? You read smut, my friend. You read smut. Buongiorno, everyone. Quite unbelievable I entered the office really easily, lol. Sayonara, edgelords. Cocky attitude. It's the IT guy! Yeah, definitely a weird message. It's in French, too. Okay, so we know the letter was written I by- I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. We got a birthday letter. So, yeah, I wonder- I wonder what the, uh, purpose of that letter is for sure, but I- I'm very, very much wondering about this now, like... Is the IT guy, is there a guy that just, maybe they're hiding in the server room? Maybe they come and go as they please? I just don't know, right? Let's talk a little bit more to Margaret. Okay, so we already kind of did all that stuff. Uh, we've already interrogated her enough. Let's see if she has any reaction to things. That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? I mean, that's very fair. Let's, uh, let's leave her for last, because she's crying. I want to give her some time to herself. We've completely investigated Laura, so let's talk. Do you think she liked my present? I mean, now she's crying, but... I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine! I should really get back to work. Ooh, we should interrogate her further. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it! I don't know what to do! Well, sad. Uh, unfortunate, even. Let's talk to her first. <laughs> of course we're gonna comfort her. It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> uh -huh. What can you possibly do? Leave me alone. Aw, poor Sophie. We can't even interrogate her. Come on, man. No, all right, we need to get on to Margaret's computer now that we have some information. <laughs> Did you know there are over 1,000 You know, honestly, I should have been reading all the duck facts, but that's okay. Let's interrogate further. What do you think about this letter? <clears throat> People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line breaks? <laughs> A typewriter, potentially? That would be very odd. Let's go back and chat. Nothing new? <laughs> They, they really think I've done it! Duck Detective, you have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Yeah. Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Well, I mean, they're stolen, so you should probably give them back, right? Let's talk still. So... What happens to the cake now? I don't know. What happens to the cake, hmm? Okay. Blue armored alien. Oh, Jesus. We have to go back and read that book, huh? Sadly. 
we're gonna have to figure all that out again. <laughs> so have you received presents from her colleagues? We'll leave that as is. And we actually know the beginning of the message, right? Uh, well... Actually, no, I don't know. Ooh, okay. Let's go and talk to Manfred. I'm sure he's gonna have something to say or react. Ducks migrate thousands of miles in the winter to escape your whining. Uh, very true, very true. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. Oh, come on, man. What are you dogging your boy? I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Why is there a knife on the ground, dude? What the heck? And it just disappeared. Maybe it was supposed to be a pencil? I don't know. What are you doing with the- Sorry. Uh, th there's something more to than meets the eye here. There's way, 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 way something more than meets the eye. Interesting. We need to talk to more people. Let's go outside real quick. I'm sure Boris will be out there. I'm sure he's gonna be upset. I wonder if he got her the necklace. That would be... That would be my guess, right? Uh, let's talk. Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? I should be honest. Um, she didn't. Ah, I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. Hmm... Let's see here. Customs procedures for passengers entering from the western border. The salami was imported, we knew that. The, the thing was, allowed goods, personal items worth less than 500 schmark. Uh, notify local police about suspicious activity, 03051777. Gun scary, true, true. Books not in the interests of the eastern estates. <laughs> More than 10 trombones, meat, potatoes. Hmm. Luggage will be checked at the bus station. For more information, visit brezel.d slash customs. Okay, so they were smuggled in from Brezel. What do they have against potatoes? Weird. Okay, so he's got nothing more for us here. The bus is emptied out. Let's quack. Perfect. So, I think that he got the pendant. I think that Laura got the plush. And the salami bandit certainly got the salami. So, uh, we're fully interrogated there. I'm sure there's going to be one more big clue that we get that we're going to be interrogating people about, but I need to go confirm about the aliens really quick. So, we go back and read the smut. So, it's the sexy alien. Sexy aliens. Captain Brian and the aliens. There were 12 of them, and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue and there were 43. All of them were shiny metal armor which shine like something shiny. The lead alien stepped forward. Captain Bright, you could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one which stepped forward. The most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. So it's the purple eyed armored blue alien. Pretty sure, right? Let's try to hack into quote unquote their computer, but first we got some more stuff here, actually. This folder says, Manual for CS Agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly? I'm falling asleep just reading the title. I would too, my guy. All right. Laura, can the OO please clean their desk? I can smell it until here. What? I can smell it from here, maybe? Okay, Laura complains. We knew that much. Sophie, eh? Is that an alien? Oh, hell yeah. They're sexy. Oh my god, is he serious? What a dumb pen name. It's just his name backwards. Wait. <gasps> we have to go to the... Oh! Mystery author of the book. Ooh. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. Absolutely not. Okay, let's go and see here. The... Is there a clue? Oh, we actually... Wait, wait, we can go back to the evidence? Oh my lord. Um, let's see. It's Rufus Cerritus. 
or Sidarius. Sidarius. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. All right, hold on. So, oh man. Hmm. We're missing something apparently here in our search. Okay, so it's the blue armored alien. Hint me. Yeah, so I thought the purple, the purple eyed alien. I cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. It feels like oddly voyeuristic to say in that way, but all right, here we go. Delete everything. What? Oh dear. Is it Margaret and Rufus? <laughs> it is an alien chat. Ooh. Interesting. Westvpn.exe, secret cake recipes, never gonna give you up. Oh, okay, we got Rickrolled. Bear bus internal vouchers for CS agents. DR delay booked on the next bus. Okay. Who is this person she's messaging? It's Rufus, dude. I'm almost certain that it's Rufus. Okay, we're probably gonna have to go to the server room eventually, right? So, let's see here. The message. Uh, the business? Ah, uh, something is being illegally imported from uh, Brezel. So I think it would be Salamis. Right? I think it's like salamis or- no! Mm. Cakes, buses, books, necklaces, plushies. It's not plushies, it's not necklaces. Uh, are being illegally imported from Brazil. Okay, we need to double check on that. We need to see what's illegal. It's books about Eastern business, I think, right? Um, booked on the next bus. Uh, West VPN. Let's go back and like actually view our evidence the correct way, right? So, weapons, trombones, meat, books not in the interest of the eastern states, meat and plants. Delete everything from the alien. Oh my god, lol, is he serious? What a dumb pen name, it's just his name backwards. Okay. All right, we should probably figure out the presence things first, right? So Laura probably gave her a plushie. What got stolen though? Bag, books, cake, letters, necklaces, or nothing. Hmm, that would be fascinating. I think the necklace was definitely Boris. I think the plushie could have been Laura. Cause that's like her best friend. Who gave the book? Was it Rufus? Hmm. Oh, this is her asking for Freddy to clean his desk. There's actually more flavor text here. Whoa, I missed all of this stuff. Hmm. Map of all the Barabus routes and all an informational poster on the custom rules of Prezel. Her messages seem very dubious. I think she's working with Rufus to import stuff. Okay. Hmm. It could be books, it could be salami. The salami could be like a red herring, I guess, right? So like, uh, is it Sophie received a something message, right? That contained a, <laughs> that contained a romantic, uh, <laughs> a romantic uh, book, I guess, contained a, so if we received a something, is there a thing for book here? A like 
book. Why did that open up? Okay, that was weird. It, like, opened up my menu or whatever. Sorry about that. Ah, This is too much. Okay, Sophie received the following presents from her colleague. Laura gave a plushie. Boris gave a necklace. What gave a book? Who gave the book? Boris gave a book? No. Freddy... Would he give a book about alien? Who's the sci-fi fan? It's Rufus, right? It has to be Rufus. Rufus gave a book. Boris gave a necklace. Because he's like, oh, it's probably cheesy, right? What got stolen? Bag, books, cake, letters got stolen? Necklaces? I don't know about the necklaces. Nothing or plushie. The plushie and the necklaces, no. Letters, I'm not sure about. She opened it expecting something, right? What if nothing got stolen? So, nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Okay. It was intentional, eh? Okay, so Sophie received... a... Scary message? I don't- you know, I want to go back and talk to her and see if she'll give me a little bit more. Because I'm a bit confused. She's crying. I just don't know what to make of it. Oh, what should I do? She's not giving us much. Not much at all. Margaret's definitely in on this. It's a weird message. Okay, so maybe we'll just stick with weird. The message. She received a... A what letter, right? Hmm. It's a birthday letter. The letter has a strange message. There must be more to it. B-E. Those are the two... Underline words on the business. Salamis are being illegally imported from Brazil. I feel like it could be books, though. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, salamis. Two or few. Okay, so it can't be that. So we know things are being illegally imported from Brazil. It's not buses, cakes, necklaces, plushies. It could be books. Okay, I don't want to overdo this then. They're definitely being illegally imported um, from Brazil, so I'm gonna leave this as is because I don't want I don't want the hint, right? So if you see it, that contained a scary. Did she get a present? Maybe is there a? Hmm. A letter that contained a like a weird message, right? A scary message. A romantic letter? Hmm. She received a nice letter? A scary or silly letter? This is definitely a message, right? Book? No. Cake? No. X? No. Letter, potentially. Message, no. It's a letter, a necklace to contain, a plushie. Can we look at these a little closer? It's a hard sh- Look, someone, it says. Okay, it's not. Is it a scary letter? That contained a scary, a silly letter? Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. Maybe? What? what? <laughs> I need more than this! Ah, oh. uh, there's too many things that we need to... ...put together for this one, I feel like. How, do, how could I be wrong about that? I, I don't know, right? Not a fan of all that high school drama. People just cry over everything these days. Hmm... What is being illegally imported from Brazil? Right, it has to be Brazil. 
Weapons, plants, trombones, meat, potatoes, and books. If it's not books... Look at this, West VPN. Three hour delay compensation booked on the next bus. Delete everything. Buongiorno, everyone. Quite unbelievable. I entered the office really easily. Hmm. How much was the salami, actually? It was 210, so it's not the salami. Well, I mean, I guess it could be. Salami is meat. Did we try both books and salamis? Probably. It could be plushies. If there's a message saying, like, delete everything... Oh, wait, no, this is from... Hmm, that's Margaret's computer. Maybe she's having Rufus import limited plushies in so she can give them as a gift? Oh, this is cute. I, I should probably should have looked over this a lot more, right? Um, let's see. I, you know, ding me for exploring. But uh, this is this is actually a lot of fun. I actually really like interacting with all the systems in the game. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. If they're being imported through, shit. Where are we? Hmm. West VPN. Cutie with the alien. That's, so that's Rufus talking to Margaret. What would they be importing in? Secret cake recipes, 21. Maybe it's not that. If Rufus is in on things with Margaret, what would he be importing? That would make sense, right? But they're not from Brezel then, right? Okay, I don't think it's Salsicha. Hmm. There's something more to this. Can we go maybe talk to Boris a little bit more? See if we get a little bit more of an idea of where he's been with the bus? No. <sighs> Life's just not going so well right now. <sighs> Tell me about it. I lost all my hockey bets, too. Hmm, okay. For passengers entering from the west border. So they're actually being imported through Brazil? Salsicha. And it's gonna be salamis. That explains all the high-grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. The mystery of the Salami Bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the Salami Bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East and selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for... Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions 
and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... what? The, no one died! I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He... is... right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now that is really scandalous! Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... Maybe. Ah! Listen, everybody! It's really important that no one leaves the premises. Ugh. I need to get back to work. Oh. Everybody's leaving? <sighs> I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. Well, we're at an impasse. There's so many more things to solve, and with that, I will see you guys next time for another episode of my Duck Detective Let's Play. We will find out the secret of the secret salami potentially next time. If not, who knows? See you next time. Peace out, and bye bye